Good evening and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. Today is Thursday, November 13th. I'm Maddie Olskevich bringing you tonight's top headlines. The general body's 11-day sit-in of Krauss Heinz Hall could be coming to an end. In an email sent to the student body last night, Chancellor Sivarud announced the administration has made their final response to the general body and will now be moving forward. He also apologized for decisions made about Posse and the Advocacy Center. We'll have much more coverage of the sit-in, including what happened at today's prep conference tonight at 6. For those planning on traveling this holiday season, security changes are coming to Hancock Airport. Earlier this week, the airport introduced new imaging technology to detect bombs and weapons under clothing. Citrus TV reporter John Olins has the full story tonight at 6. The ESA has released the first photos from the Filey probe. Yesterday, the probe landed on a comet 310 million miles from Earth, making history as the first probe to land on the surface of a comet. The newly released photos show the terrain of the comet, and scientists behind the 10-year mission are overjoyed with the project's success. Russian Defense Forces are flexing their military muscle. The Russian military announced they will be sending long-range bombers to patrol from the Arctic to the Gulf of Mexico. This comes just after a few days after NATO and Ukrainian authorities accused Russia of sending tanks into western Ukraine. And cold weather continued here in Syracuse with our first snowfall of the year. But bundle up if you're heading out tonight as the snow is expected to continue. Citrus TV's Jessica Mendelson will have your full weather forecast for us tonight at 6. And that's all for your Citrus TV News Brief. Join us in an hour for the news live at 6 with Hunter Signs and Anna Giles. I'm Maddie Olskevich and have a great night, Syracuse.